Hey everyone, welcome back to School Reactions here with my buddy Wixter and my buddy Vet Reacts over there. Hey, what's and, going on? Uh, you guys, um, this was a request that came in a couple days ago on another Sabaton video that we did. And they said, please check out the last battle. They said it's one of the strangest ones from the end of World War II. Uh, uh, so there's a little history lesson in the in the info from Sabaton about about the battle. It tells a little bit about it. And uh, we're going to do our best to try and catch what we can. And then afterwards, we can go back and look at what they said about it and see how close we get. So with that being said, uh, you guys ready for this? Indeed. We go. were ready for this the first two times I hit record and OBS didn't work and kicked me out, right? Yeah. Okay. This time we're definitely ready for it. So here we Let's go. Let's do it. Sabaton, the last battle. is that that's the one on the on the mountain it's a, the, it's castle sure. it's his castle um uh at the, the Eagle's nest or whatever Tyro Tyrolean mountains in Eater Australia soldiers Australia. of the Wechmach and the US yeah. army joined forces fought together against the SS to save the lives of prisoners being held in the castle of Eater under the command of American Captain John C. Lee and German Major Josef Gangle, the castle was defended by less than 30 German-American soldiers together with the French former prisoners of the castle together and with a little help from their Sherman tank, Besotten Jenny, who was placed at the main entrance, they managed to hold the 100 to 150 men strong Waffen-SS unit until they were relieved by the, the Allies. So, pff, bro. <laughs> Yikes! Austria. Yep. See, yeah, because there was a couple different um, castles and like compounds and stuff that they that, took that they had to go that through. Involved, that they involved releasing the one involved releasing workers for a hard water plant. Yeah, which they, is what I was starting to think, think this was, might was, have been yep. talking about. But yep. okay, yeah, that's awesome. Let's keep going. <laughs> When that, I bet when that was going on, dude, who would have, who in the American army at the time would have thought that at some point in time they would be working with the German army during World War II to go get the bad guys and I rescue mean, the good guys? I mean, it's kind of weird, fair, you know. To, to be fair, in almost every war, that's happened. Yeah. I wonder if they, if this group of SS were like rogue. Are were they waiting for the surrender? Still, are they mentioned were that, they or fighting? was this? Act? They were fighting. There was a, which the is SS, another. The SS was holding the prisoners captive in the castle. Yeah, which is and, German. 
it, why, why was no, the, how did the, the they rogue, link the rogue ones were regular german army right oh, okay so they there were, they so went just yeah just like in iraq and afghanistan how they use the afghan uh, army and they use the iraqi army and in mm -hmm. vietnam they used the vietnam mm -hmm. army yeah like you, there's some point in every war where you reach that point where you end up working together with a group of people because they have more intel Right, and then also, and also, but you consider this was in 1945. This is very close to the to the fall, right? You must have had a lot of soldiers in the German army that were like, "This is not what we signed up for, and this is crazy, and I don't even know why I'm doing this." And or know the end was coming, and yes, just surrendered and, and just said, "We'll help you. Just don't kill us." Right. You know, wow, dude, this is crazy. Okay. story in that right yeah I, I, and it makes more sense leaving leaving the whatever it said in the past and now it's the Ger american army and german army fighting together at last so it makes sense the defectors right the defectors were that the came german army that came and, to help the u.s you know yeah I, I mean i'm sure that somebody kept an eye on them but yeah. I, I mean, I'm wondering. Because I mean, we kept an eye on the IA. I mean, did, did you did you guys see Band of Brothers? Yes. Okay, so you know the last days, mm -hmm. that episode. Yeah. And they're going up that Alps mountain to the Eagle's Nest, right? And the right. roads are blocked off. Right. I wonder if this battle was somewhere in that same vicinity. vicinity? vicinity right very well like if they're be. a part of the attack team very on, well on the be. way up you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like the only way up was to go through that castle and that was like your first line of defense and then you head up to the eagle's nest uh-huh could be i mean if you think about it man you know the 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 beauty of sabaton for me you guys know more about war history and things like that because of your military service and that you study battles and things like that and you learn see i never knew something i never knew the german army and american troops did an operation together all this like all this to me is like right. all this to me is like a, a fascinating and very intriguing history lesson like see, i i wish people i could go keep back saying and take watch history, their history channel yeah, and it's like I would love to watch the Sabaton's History Channel, but if I watch Sabaton's History Channel, I'm gonna be prepared and know what's gonna be what, coming. Everything, in all the songs. That's and that's that the takes catch away 22. our joy. It's that's the catch our 22. Joy of the like, music is to react. It's like buying a CD from an artist you love, but you can't react to the songs until you until they come up on YouTube. It stinks. Right. <laughs> this guy right here. <laughs> because every time it's like, come on, drop a video. I want to listen to my CD. Dude, on, I, I, did, I, I, I did that. I did that. I bought CDs from artists and I was like, yeah. And then I'm like, okay, hang on. Let me go through. That's why for everybody who wants to know why I did so many Upshur songs, I bought six C or eight CDs from him all at once through Redneck Nation, right? I couldn't play them in my car until I listened to them. And so I was like, I'm going to go through, and that's why I was trying to complete full albums. Like, let me get this one done, and I can put that CD in my car, right? It's, it's a stinker of a, a situation when you're a reactor, but, man, this stuff is great. Uh, they do have a history channel. That would be awesome. If you guys are interested in that, uh, make sure to go check it out. Um, 
Wow. Thank you guys for being here for this, too. Uh, thank you both. Thanks for having us here. Yep. All right. Well, you guys, this was Sabaton Last Battle. Sorry if my S's sound a little weird. I'm missing a front tooth. And if you don't like it, kiss my ass. Um, wow. Uh, just for wow. anybody just for anybody who's going to go, dude, why are you talking kiss that weird? Ass. So, yeah, kiss that ass. That A-S. That, that A-S-S. Ass. Kiss my ass. <laughs> ass. Ass. There. That dude, makes it, sound it hurts. Really hurts. It hurts. Okay, All right. Because somebody's going to go, I think he's been drinking Let's too much. He's slurring his speech. Right okay. And good news, I have been drinking too much, way too much of this Crystal Light iced tea today. As always, be healthy, be happy, be good to each other. Stay blessed, and we will see you later. Peace. Peace. Peace.